in the face of, of one of my men. Okay. It's no respect. Yeah. I'm playing for my country. I understand no that. Respect. But let us deal with it. We don't yeah. need you as the captain coming okay. in. Let's show some leadership, okay? Okay. okay you... Chance for first points for Nicolas Sanchez. Flags are up. The Pumas lead three points to nil. Whitelock working hard around the corner of the big man. Advantage. Penalty for advantage offside. for offside. Two Pilotu running the unders line. Back towards the rock. Advantage. Richie Mwonga with kicking duties once again and a gift three points. Kremer juggles it and runs it straight at Moody. Advantage. Another penalty advantage. Chance to roll the dice here for the Pumas. Little chip ahead. It sits up for Bruni, does it? It sits up for Sanchez! And Nicolas Sanchez will score the first try for the Pumas and they rush in to celebrate. And here Sanchez found grass, which you need to do. He knew he could roll the dice because of the uh, advantage. And there you go. Positive, atti positive attitude results in a try for the Pumas. He converts his own try. Barrett sends it long. And now Carreras puts it high. A reply. And it'll be a penalty to Argentina. Carreras was taken in the air after the kick late. Now Sanchez is getting a reception here at Bankwest Stadium. About 10 metres Better in field for him this time around. Strikes it. Flags go up. That's a 10-point lead to Argentina. Belly feeds the scrum. And they get the penalty advantage. It's there for Bruni. They have the penalty advantage. Stop. It's got the card. Yep. You're, from, you're from the side. Nicolas Sanchez. That one is over the black dot. Belly. Puts it into touch. Their biggest halftime lead ever against the All Blacks. The Pumas in front here at Bankwest Stadium. They lead New Zealand 16 points to three. Can't get a quick ball, Matera. Bruni. They're finding space in behind here. It sits up. We're going to go back for Advantage. the penalty, though. Sanchez to extend the lead. Hits it well. It's over. Performance from a quick little trick play there from the All Blacks, and they get the shove on there over the line. It's a try. There is the hit back for New Zealand. Something you work hard at trying. It doesn't need to get in the air. They just start moving early. The All Blacks get the momentum. Can't be stopped around the front. It's still there for the Pumas. Matera running into a hole. It bounces the pass. Sanchez from right in front. He has scored all 22 of Argentina's points. The most points by a player in a match for the Pumas against the All Blacks. They go same way, the All Blacks. Moanga trying to get the hands free. Matera's over the top. Matera wins the turnover. Huge moment at Bankwest Stadium. And wins the line out. And a penalty by the looks. The arm is out from Angus Gardner. Penalty advantage. These are huge moments. They win the penalty. The closest they've ever been to winning a game against the All Blacks was way back in 1985, a draw. They've never beaten the All Blacks, Argentina. Nicolas Sanchez. Hits it well. Hits it really well. The flags go. What a kick, what a kick. Talk about adrenaline, finding that extra five metres, he found it. 
unbelievable kick from Nicolas Sanchez, and what a game he has had. Back on side, Feeling it of inevitability here for the All Blacks. Clark, Clark stepping, and Caleb Clark will score for the All Blacks. But it won't be enough. He misses. A boil over felt in Buenos Aires. Los Pumas, muy bueno. They win against the All Blacks. Oh, wow. Piece of history. We've witnessed history here today at Bankwest. An incredible effort. We spoke about they haven't played in 402 days. First game of 2020. Were they going to run out of energy? Were they going to run out of steam? No. They just got better and better. They made one handling error throughout 80 minutes. It was such a polished and accurate performance, balanced with beautiful passion and precision. Outstanding, Andrew. I, don't, I just don't know how to sum it up. There was hard.